When you think of your favorite meal, doesn't your mouth just start watering? Mine does. I start craving something I love and I almost can't stop thinking about it until I get it. Some of the foods I crave at times are a good ribeye steak, seared scallops, fried catfish, shrimp scampi, taglarini piki paku with chicken, broiled lobster, or simply a good fried chicken leg. I often am very specific with my cravings, and most of them come from certain restaurants or places I've been with my husband on a special night out. Those culinary memories are burned in my brain and bring me such joy. I start thinking back, I get a craving, and I want more. When you love the way something tastes, you want more of it. Pass that back around the table one more time, please. I need a second helping. When we taste something good, we remember it, and in ways, it changes us forever. If all our lives we only ate bologna with water on the side, and then one day we tasted a bite of hot smoked pulled pork with barbecue sauce, a slice of pecan pie, and a big gulp of southern sweet tea, the veil of possibilities is lifted as our taste buds rejoice. You may be getting hungry about now because the power of suggestion is strong and many of you have tasted good things. When you do, you can't help but share and describe your experience. David wrote, taste and see that the Lord is good in Psalm 34, 8. He saw and experienced the goodness of God and it was so sweet. He could only compare it to something you savor and want more of. What do you want more of? What are you craving? We chase after, even strive for, things we crave and desire. We find we can't get enough. We get a little taste and are never satisfied. We crave wealth, security, position, influence, staying on trend and having our homes and wardrobe on point. We always want more. Take a step back for a minute and evaluate what you're desiring what you're chasing after, and why. What place in your heart are you trying to fill? It comes down to this. What you crave is a sign of where your heart is. 1 John 2.15 Do not love the world or anything in the world. If anyone loves the world, love for the Father is not in them. For everything in the world, the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life, comes not from the Father, but from the world. The world and its desires pass away, but whoever does the will of God lives forever. Our heart is pursuing one of two things, more of Jesus or more of this world. Give me Jesus all day, every day. He is the only one who satisfies my soul. As I seek more of him each day, my heart is filled with joy and peace, no matter the circumstance that surrounds me. And his truth, his will and way for my life is what I crave. You may have started this new year wanting more, desiring more, seeking more of something. Deep down, you feel like if you could satisfy that desire, arrive at that place, accomplish that thing you've held out in front of you for so long, then you'll be satisfied. Only when you lay all of that down at Jesus' feet and find your rest in Him, will you be satisfied. Psalm 107.9 says, He satisfies the thirsty and fills the hungry with good things. Jesus himself said in John 6.35, I am the bread of life. Whoever comes to me will never go hungry, and whoever believes in me will never be thirsty. When you taste, know, and see the goodness of God in your life, you want more of it. That's the truth. The beauty of how God works is that when you surrender all those desires to Him because He created you and knows you best, He will give many of those desires back according to His will, and you'll find yourself in life with more than you could have ever asked for or imagined. I know I have. I'm Lori Klein.